Surely the beacon is here. This place is breathtaking. The ice has preserved it well. Initializing solar system display. Connection to Earth in progress. Destroyed. Earth is gone. All these years wasted dreaming of a rescue from a place that's nothing but a cloud of scattered rocks. Everyone on Mars, if they hear of this, they'll be devastated. What am I gonna tell them? Let's head back to Ophir. Promise me, you'll never speak of what we learned here today. I know some of you wish I would tell the truth, but I couldn't live with myself if I started a new era of war. Abundance needs us, now more than ever, to rebuild. And once I'm officially Great Master, I swear to lead us into peace. And if all goes well, happiness. Come, it's time to go. Looking back now, I bet I wouldn't even recognize the young Zachariah Manser who just earned his stripes. And little did I know that all my choices would compound together and shape the city under the ice. When I killed Bolgakov, I ensured she wouldn't be tortured at the hands of the ASC. But by cutting off the head of the Resistance, I unknowingly left a power gap that made the real enemy stronger. Despite my orders, I couldn't bring myself to kill my fellow man and I let the deserters and their leader go, only to find that one day he would return the favor. I remember letting poor Dave go, understanding he only betrayed me to protect his family. Meanwhile, a more dangerous spy was hiding in my shadow. Despite everything Jeffrey did to me, I couldn't let Nisha shoot him down like a dog. And even in all my efforts to be a good soldier, I was still exiled from Ophir. No matter what happened, Victor was always going to discredit me. Yet my decisions of friends, alliances, would greatly influence the events that followed. The day I left Ophir in a stolen rover was the day I had chosen the people alongside me to become my companions, through adventure, misfortune, and into battle. Later, I agreed to help Dandolo chase the Vori out of Noctis, for good cutting them off at the bridgehead they hoped to use to infiltrate every settlement on Mars. And because of that, Anton came close to paying the ultimate price when his men picked him as the scapegoat. But he's not a man you get rid of that easily. By becoming the great master of Technomancers, I've earned their unwavering loyalty. But I've also accepted a lifelong responsibility. Since I've left the city under the ice, I've had many young apprentices, and the Order is powerful again, our future bright. Scum keeps the young mutant nation alive and well, and with Phobos' help, he has managed to repel corporations' troops, time and time again. And with the incoming surge of refugees, you'd be a fool to bet against Mutant Valley. It's destined to become the most powerful force on Mars. The release of the mutants of Ophir opened a breach that was never resealed. Thousands upon thousands of mutants escaped to join Mutant Valley. And today, the citizens of Abundance actually have to do the labor themselves. My travels with Amelia opened my eyes to what else was out there, and what had been right there beside me. With all her trash talk, she certainly has a big heart. She's been discovering new fertile lands to empower Mutant Valley to expand. Oh, and on the side, she opens new trade routes for Noctis. Yeah, so... That's my girlfriend. Whenever I can, I accompany her. I couldn't imagine doing anything else. I visit Scott on occasion. He's still probably legally crazy, but he's found a way to use that eccentric energy for good. He treats children in the slums of Ophir, though this time he's not using them as guinea pigs. The army's role in taking down Victor allowed it to regain its honorable post as the protector of abundance. 
The generals have powerful representatives at the assembly again. Then even if the corporation has lost some luster and prestige after the colonel's reign, at least it can properly defend itself. To this day, I wonder if I was right in allying with Anton. The warriors spread across the planet, their power unmatched, unchecked, and they run their operations in broad daylight. Corruption has spiked, even after the colonel's demise, and all the gifts and wealth I receive, compliments of Anton, don't stop me from feeling like I sold out. I worry about the future of abundance. It may well end up with a rogue for its leader. After all the shifts in power and all of our new discoveries, Mars doesn't look the worse for wear. There haven't been any riots or civil wars. We still keep the biggest secret of all to ourselves, and many on Mars cling to the hope that Earth will send a team of rescuers. Meanwhile, Abundance has grown strong again, and I've been recruiting new Technomancers in an attempt to do my part. I don't know what the future holds, but I feel the worst is behind me. Although whenever I look up at the sky, I know that we are on our own, that I am on my own. And I start to feel the weight of these secrets, 